this is probably the most exciting day of my life. I have built my dream home library. This was such a process and I'm gonna go through that process first before I start putting all of my books away because there's a lot that happened. Let me get into the story of how I built my dream home library and how I even found this because that bookshelf over there was my original bookshelf and that costs like six or seven times the amount of this bookshelf that I have behind me now, which is crazy. And I'm talking about this one right here, this 3.2 meter long bookshelf. How does this cost less than this one? Well, I'm gonna tell you guys all about it. This all started with this book right here, Fourth Wing. Okay, I had three friends tell me to read this book. And before that point, I wasn't really into books. At least not for a while. I haven't been into books for like a couple years now. All three of my friends are from like different circles of people. Like they're not friends with each other. And so when I was told that this is a five star read, I was like, okay, I'm gonna give it a go. Like I need something to do. I need to try reading again. And then when I read this, this sparks something inside of me. Now I have a bookshelf. I bought like 65 plus books in the past month. I did film a book haul, so if you wanna see what books I bought, I did haul all of it. After I read this book, I was like, I need to build my dream home library. And also because I started buying more books after that and just realizing how many stories that I was missing out on. I was on Pinterest doing my little girly Pinterest things and I was like, cute bookshelves, home library. And I came across so many photos. There were just like so many things. I saw Hayley Fan build her home library and that is honestly like a dream, but I don't have that kind of budget. So I was like, I need to find the next best solution which was to go on Facebook Marketplace and find something secondhand because I realized a bookshelf costs anywhere between a couple hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars. And I needed a bookshelf that would fill this entire couch up. And this couch is about three meters long. So I needed a three plus meter long bookshelf that is specifically brown wood. And I wanted like kind of like a medium oaky to like a dark wood timber shade i thought it would match well with like everything that i've got going on here so i didn't want like a white bookshelf or anything i wanted something like with a bit more like earthy tones that was what i was looking for and because bookshelves are so expensive i decided to go on facebook marketplace and for that week i was just looking for fun until i found this bookshelf this dingy flimsy looking bookshelf inside of this little floral print cute room and honestly the photos weren't that hd like if i looked at that photo i'd be like hmm like is this legit? It looked a bit sketchy, like and the whole ad was a bit like, hmm. But you know, nevertheless, I still went ahead and messaged the guy. I was like, how much are you selling this bookshelf and is it still available? And he was selling this bookshelf originally for $500 and then he cut the price in half and it was only $250 which is insane. I've seen bookshelves, like just one third of this bookshelf. The price of it is normally like a couple thousand dollars. And I saw this ad at like 12 a.m. in the morning. So I messaged the guy and he didn't reply to me because he was probably in bed, but I messaged him anyways. And I think I like triple quadruple messaged him just because I just really wanted to like take the bookshelf and I wanted to guarantee that I was the one who was gonna take it because I was like there's no way anybody else needs a bookshelf of this size and yeah I guess nobody else did because I was the one who went to go pick it up the next morning I think I went at like 9 10 a.m and we brought two cars with us because I was so worried if it would even fit in the car because again it's three meters long guys like that's not a small bookshelf picked up all the timber pieces and it just so happens that it all fit in one of our cars so i don't know if i manifested this or was the universe listening like because they knew that i needed a three meter long custom bookshelf with customizable shelves that was a dark wood and that is exactly what i got I, i'm telling you guys i could not be happier right now because my pinterest board like literally like this is beyond like what i was expecting when i went on facebook marketplace so i brought this bookshelf home and then clint helped me set it up and we just spent like the evening setting it up i think it only took like an hour and a half and surprisingly it was pretty easy to do i thought there were like no instructions by the way he just like literally gave us all the pieces and i was like okay there's probably only one way to figure this out which is just to start building and we did and we finished it in an hour and a half and then i had my bookshelf and it was the most beautiful thing ever and there are a few ways that I could have customized it because it came with like different shelving units. I was gonna put like the little dividers in between, but I kind of like how it looks right now, like long, 
like with the length so I think I'm gonna leave it like this for now and then put all of these panels away just for the moment oh guys guys you cats are crazy look they're so obsessed with it this is probably where they're gonna play now I just wanted to have like three parts all the way across and then they had like a bunch of shelves that you could slide down and you could technically make the shelves like little cubicles and put like another panel like in the middle but I didn't really want to do that I feel like it looks a bit more open like with just like the three parts so that's the story behind me getting this bookshelf which I still can't believe I only bought this for like $250 like that is just insanely cheap I cannot like that bookshelf over there you see that white one that cost me like over a thousand dollars and i could probably only put like one row of books i don't know what i was doing there i should have just gone on facebook marketplace like in the first place i actually don't know like who was listening to me like somebody was because that's exactly what popped into my life and yeah so now i have my bookshelf and i'm really excited so what i'm gonna do now is take all of these books so i literally laid out every single one of my books that i have fyi i bought 65 plus new books in the past month and by the way i'm not just buying random books i'm buying books that i'm actually adding to my physical tbr i also learned what tbr meant like recently and i'm like i feel like such a, a book girly now like i i didn't know what that was these are for my physical tbr some of these are like books that i already had but a lot of them are like newer ones I think I'm going to try and divide it into categories like romance, fantasy, mystery, thriller, that kind of vibe. And we'll see how many books that I have. Apparently, a thousand books makes a library. So I'm going to count how many books I have after as well. So I don't think I have a thousand, but I just want to see how close I am. So, okay, I'm going to get started with putting all of these up here. <laughs> This is my most cherished. Ah, no! Oh, no! I keep dropping this series and it's literally my favorite series ever. I was gonna say, this is my most cherished series ever right now. This is the Magnolia Park series and I am obsessed. I think this is the first contemporary romance I've read, like ever. And don't ask me why that is. I think I only ever read fantasy romance when I was younger and I never read any contemporary romances and I'm pretty sure this is one of the more like dramatic ones but I love this series. These ones are all of my new contemporary romance books. Again, I did a haul of like all of these. If you want to see me go through all of these books like one by one and like talk about them, I have a video for that so yeah look how cute i feel like the romance books are so pretty like the covers are just so like cute and wholesome i haven't read this yet by the way so yeah these are basically all my tbr books on here now and i'm gonna count how many books i have just to see um apparently you need a thousand books to make a library which is a lot of books and i really don't think i have a thousand books but i just want to see how many that i have let's see One, two. guys i have exactly 100 books that is insane. I'm only one tenth of the way to a thousand books and I'm pretty sure this bookshelf could probably hold a thousand books but obviously I'm gonna do that slowly and I don't need a thousand books per se but that'd be cool if we could reach that one day. I put a tiny lamp over there because I didn't know where else to put that lamp but I think it's kind of cute there. I don't know if I should fill this bookshelf entirely with books or if I should like decorate it a little bit as well. To be honest like I was planning on just putting books on there and all of my friends and my family are like, why would you do that? And I'm like, because it's a bookshelf. But they seem opposed to me putting just books on there. So let me know what you guys think down below. Um, I need your opinion because I'm honestly pretty set on like just waiting until one day I fill this entire thing up with books. But maybe I should do something else. I don't know. Maybe my ideas are wrong. Like everyone keeps telling me that it is. So it's time for a book tour of all of these little sections and what I've put inside of them. 
this is future pretty because I have a few more books than I actually did last time. Not sure if you can tell. I'm gonna show you guys how I've divided my shelf and do like a little like book overview and show you each one of my books. So basically this whole middle section right here, this is all fantasy. And then this row down here is like romances, contemporary romances. Here we have like a bunch of miscellaneous, which I'll go through. And then that right there, is more of like a self-help information historical section very mini so before i start i'm not going to go through like the plot line for each of these because i do that in my book haul so i'm just going to tell you guys like the title and like how many books are in each series and let me know down below if there's any in particular i should start first because a lot of these i haven't read yet so let me know down below but i'll start with this side so we're in fantasy and this is actually more of like a dark romance fantasy it's called like the hook series i think there's a few more books and then we have from blood and ash throne of the fallen and then the kingdom of the wicked series so this is like a trilogy and this one is like a standalone but same author and then i have six of crows um one dark window powerless i've read this recently and i'm obsessed guys like i didn't think i'd like ya fantasy anymore because i thought you know I'm a bit too old for that, but no, I love this one so much by Lauren Roberts. I have Bride by Ali Hazelwood. This is one of her first fantasies, apparently, so excited to try that. Oh, The Inmate. This is not meant to be here. And then we have Serpent and Dove, a Serpent in the Wings of Night, and then I have Rebecca Yaris, Fourth Wing. This is like the new edition, which I bought recently. These two right here, I'm pretty sure, are part of a trilogy. And I got these because I read the back and I was like, oh, hockey romance, cute. It's like an adult hockey romance. Also in the wrong section, but anyways, it's still here. And then I've got two books from the Maid series by Daniel Laurie. The Maid series is actually part of a four book series, but only three of them have come out. And then I've got Haunting Adeline, which is part of a duology. If we continue across, you guys can see we have more fantasy. So I have Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros, obviously. And I have two special editions, which are like literally the most beautiful thing ever. I'm obsessed with these two books. And then I have this one for Iron Flame. It's so pretty. And then I have two regular copies. She's doing a world tour really soon, so I really want to get my book signed. And then over here, I just have Sarah J Mass Universe, like literally every single one of her books, I'm pretty sure. So of course, I have A Court of Thorns and Roses. I don't have the first one because I let my friend borrow it. I have read that one. I've read the first three actually, and I've still got these two left. So I'm excited to try those out. Also, apparently this is like so good. So I don't know guys, let me know. I did feel like that was a bit slow at the start is my only comment I'll say, but I did enjoy it. Film, I'm filming a video reading it. I'm not sure if I'll post it, but let me know if you'd be interested in me posting it. I've like documented me reading the whole series. So yeah, let me know down below. I have the Throne of Glass series, which is so big. I'm so scared to start this because there's so many books, but I've heard a lot of good things. I think I might be a Throne of Glass girly over an Akatar girly. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'll find out. And then here we have the House of Earth and Blood series. And this one's the most recent book. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm meant to read these ones first before this series. I heard apparently it's because there's like a bunch of Easter eggs in here from like these books. But let me know if you know down below because I'm actually not sure if that's true. And then I have the Cool Prince series, which I have heard very many things some people love it some people hate it and then down here we have my romance section which is actually my new favorite section like I always thought I love fantasy but actually I'm I think I'm a romance girly at heart I've got a curse of true love which actually this is part of a trilogy um sorry I can't say that word very well trilogy <laughs> Um, it's part of this trilogy, um, Once Upon a Broken Heart, and it's just a weird size, so I had to put it on the side. I have Emily Henry Happy Place, I've got Binding and Keeping 13, which is, I think it's part of a four book series, correct me if I'm wrong. I've got The Seven Year Slip, Fun Romance apparently, I've got two more Emily Henry books, Book Lovers and Beach Read. This one that I just went through. Ali Hazelwood, Love Hypothesis. I bought this because I thought it was love theoretically, but a blue version. But then I realized this is a totally like 
separate book but i'm still excited to try this but apparently love theoretically is like the best one i'm not sure um and then we have reckless by elsie silver which i heard this chestnut series is like is it that what it's called the chestnut something something like that but apparently this is hella good so i picked that up recently and then i have paper princess which i kept seeing as well pretty reckless i just picked up the first of these series just because i'm not sure if i'm gonna like them yet so i just got the first book um rebecca yaris the things we leave unfinished apparently people were like sobbing at the end of this book so i was like i definitely need that Love on the Brain, Ali Hazelwood, Check and Mate, Ali Hazelwood, which apparently this is more of a YA. But the cover was so pretty, I was like, I have to get this. Magnolia Park series, these are also a recent pickup. They weren't here like last time. I decided I needed this new copy and also the original covers. The covers just look like this. Like they have like the shoes, which I love, Magnolia and BJ, which is my fave. And then these are like the original covers, which are absolutely beautiful. I keep dropping them though, so they're kind of like a bit bent. But yeah, these covers are so beautiful. I love this so much. Um, I could go on forever about this series and just know that it's my Roman Empire right now. My precious Magnolia Park series um, by Jessa Hastings. And then I've also got Jessa Hastings Never, which is actually a fantasy. I'm not sure why it's there. I guess I just wanted it to line up, so I'm going to keep that there. But yeah, so this is one of my favorite sections, just because everything's so beautiful. This section over here, I just have a bunch of like miscellaneous books. So we have Sapiens and then Agatha Christie, Never Split the Difference. Like, honestly, I actually don't really know what's going on in this section. This is, is this historical literary? I'm not even sure, but Clint's sister gave this to me. She said I should try it. Um, a New Jeans album, which is kind of random. Oh my god, I bought a bunch of these because I think I was trying to be like all philosophical and stuff at one point, and I thought I could be like, wow, practice stoicism. But, you know, that was definitely a phase. Emily Ratajkowski, My Body, Fine Print, and then we have The Inheritance Games. Colleen Hoover, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, Shadow Me series, book one, Yellow, her, She and Her Cat, um, I Want to Die But I Want to Eat Tteokbokki, um, Assassination Classroom, this is like a manga, um, oh my god, Nightingale, I just bought this one like the other day, um, I'm Glad My Mom Died, and Eleanor and Park, and then, oh no, this light's making it very difficult, and then here I have Red Rising, teacher by Frieda McFadden, Stephen King, and another Stephen King book over here. This last section up top really is just like self-help and some kind of historical books. So we got Courage to Be Disliked, Jack Canfield. That one I really love. That one had a big impact on me. Um, How to Win Friends and Influence People, Diamond Cutter, um, The Alchemist, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind, Secret of Real Estate and Banking, Ray Dalio, Art of Seduction, How to oh how do you live interesting oh my god this one seneca this is like literally just like quotes on stoicism so interesting seven habits of highly effective people catch of the decade atomic habits think and grow rich cult status subtle art of not giving an f and this one the way of the wolf so some of these are clips but yeah so that's its own little mini section. Those are all of the books on my shelf, guys. I definitely think the romance section is my favorite right now, though. Like, this is so beautiful. This is Future Pretty reporting again because I've actually added some new additions to my bookshelf. And if you can't tell, there are these little lights on each of the bookshelves, which I've added on. And I've just ordered them from Timu. They're like these little light editions which you can literally just stick on and they have like this magnet and yeah you just like flicked a little light i thought it'd be nice just because i saw this photo on pinterest and i was like oh i really want to put some lights on my bookshelf and this felt like the most appropriate option i just thought it'd be nice because then when i sit there i can like read at nighttime with like a bunch of little lights on it it's just nice and vibey I just want to share that with you guys and it's quite like a good hack because i think each of these only costs around like 20 dollars so like 
10 to 15 USD, which is pretty good if you ask me. Thank you for joining me on my dream home library journey. And I guess I finally have more books now. And now my book vlogs are gonna be so much fun and so just like vibey because I feel like this bookshelf just like adds to the vibes. Also, every single book on this shelf right now is literally TBR. Like a good 80 plus percent of these are all to be read books, so yeah. Look forward to my book vlogs, guys. They're gonna be really fun and wholesome and just cozy. And I'm just really excited because this background's gonna be so just, I don't know, like, don't you feel like this is so cozy with like the lights and everything? I don't know, I just love this so much. I guess that's it from me. Let me know if I should get any other books, any other series that you think I would like. Yeah, comment all of that down below and what other book videos you guys would like to see from me now that I have this bookshelf. I feel like it's like completing like the booktube vibes, you know, like I can actually make book videos now and feel like, you know, like the vibes are there. So yeah, anyways, let me know down below and I will see you guys very, very soon. Okay, bye guys.